All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So the President of the United States came into the news, and apparently there's new, I guess, guidance for the mass. You know, if you are psi and you're being fully vaccinated, you know, like Spider-Man, uh, you don't have to wear a mask and this and that. And I'm kind of like, wow, I thought, that, <laughs> I thought people were doing that already. But anyways, you know, it's interesting to know about the mask because essentially it said the first two weeks and then that's it. And people continue to wear the mask because you know what? American people want to do the right thing, right? But as months pass by of wearing a mask, two masks and three masks, the cases continue to rise. So to me, the mask never worked. The mask was just actually quite disgusting. All the food, you see people like bringing it down, eating and putting it back in there. And again, it's just pretty nasty in my opinion. I actually know people that wear the mask and got COVID-19, you know. <laughs> so again, I don't want to talk about that. But here's the interesting factor. It's getting so complicated, you know, in this level of wearing the mask that MSNBC had to explain to us the proper way to wear the mask or not the proper way or the proper, you know, recommendation from the CDC. So I figured that I put it here and we just talk about it. So you guys are informed. And here's the thing. If you want to wear the mask, wear the mask. I never had an issue with that. I have said it in every video. People attack me. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. My only concern always has been simple. Why are you making me try to do something I don't want to? If I go and pick you up in your house to take you to church every Sunday and you tell me no, but I say it's for your own good and you say no and I force you, what will you say? I think you going to church is the best thing you could do. Maybe you disagree. Should I force you? So again, you know, we live in a country where we're being forced to do things that we don't want to. That doesn't sound like freedom to me. Doesn't sound like something that I want to do. But don't you want to be a patriot? Don't you want to, you know, be a patriot for our country? Yes, I do. That's why I joined the Marines. I did 11 years, 5 months, and 20 days. I deployed it to Iraq and Afghanistan. I was in combat, and there we go. You done that? Oh, you wear a mask. Oh, you are more patriot than me, apparently. Good job. And in fact, there's other cases out there. I read an article. I was looking at an article that say that this is so political that people are afraid to take off their mask because they think that other people may think that you're a Republican. <laughs> I guess that's true. I guess that's true because, you know, sometimes when I see people with the double mask and all that, I'm like, what a liberal. But again, it is what it is. Let me share a couple things in here. Let's talk about this. Share your comments down below. Appreciate the support. Appreciate everybody that become a patron. You guys are amazing. Guys that are part of the member squad. Guys that use my um, uh, Amazon affiliate links. One of the best things to do. Every time you need to buy something really, really very, very expensive, click on my link, buy it through my link. I get a portion of Amazon. Not you. doesn't cost you any money more. A lot of you guys do that, and I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's do this. I'm telling you, this thing is just silly. By now, this mask thing is silly. Now, not only people are fully vaccinated, they still want you to wear a mask. I am so confused about this. I'm very, very confused. You know, you got people that are fully vaccinated, so they don't get COVID-19, but they have to wear a mask. I, I don't get it. So why did I get fully vaccinated? I, I don't understand that. You take your shots, but you still have to wear a mask. So are you saying that the shots don't work? Or are you saying that it works a little bit? Or are you saying that you're not sure that the, the, that the shot works? Because if you're 100% sure that it's safe and it works, why am I wearing a mask? There is something missing there. I'm not understanding. Maybe I'm not a smart guy like this scientific science do or whatever, but it's something missing. If I took my shot and I'm fully vaccinated, what, I, what do I care what you have? But no. They want you to be fully vaccinated and still be, you know, into this, right? So let me share my screen right here. Let's see a couple of those things right here. Obviously, make sure you subscribe to the Jar 6 Ride channel where I ride my motorcycle. I just got a trunk on my bike. And that's important because when you get a trunk on your motorcycle, that means that you are old. And I turned 40. I got a bunch of white hair. Look at this. And again, it was... I guess custom to put a trunk on my bike. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. 
The CDC's new guidance has some folks confused over how to protect themselves now, especially with more people getting vaccinated. If you've got questions, or maybe if you haven't seen the new guidelines yet, here's what you need to know. We'll do outdoor activities first, then indoor activities. First, outdoors. The CDC says you can go for a walk or a run outside without a mask. See those two smiling faces, no masks? That's what that means. You can do that outside without a mask, whether you're vaccinated or not. Thank you. You can also skip the mask for small outdoor gatherings if everyone, including you, is vaccinated. But what about mixed company, so to speak? Well, if you're fully vaccinated and you're at a small outdoor gathering with unvaccinated people, you don't need a mask. But if you're not fully vaccinated, wear a mask. The same guy. I wonder if there is a code. I mean, what are you supposed to tell, tell people? Excuse me, Mike. Excuse me, sir. Are you fully vaccinated? Or are you not vaccinated? So if it, oh, I'm fully vaccinated. Oh, okay. I'm not. I, I, don't, I don't know how that's going to play out. What about if the guy goes like, no, nah, I won't tell you. I don't, you know, I don't care. So, again, it's kind of confusing. In a way, it, it kind of divides people more, you know, the whole division of hate and all that stuff. Now we're dividing people between vaccinated and unvaccinated. Guidelines apply for outdoor dining, but the risk goes up for people who are not fully vaccinated. Maybe think about getting takeout instead. For big outdoor events like concerts and sports, everyone should wear a mask. Mm. So that's outdoor. Now let's do indoor activities. Masks are still recommended indoors. See how all the people on that graphic have a little mask on? Everything indoors, they still recommend a mask. Shopping at the mall, getting a haircut, small indoor gatherings. Even if you're vaccinated, you should still wear a mask indoors. If you have not gotten your shot yet, any indoor gathering remains riskier. That's a spec so why am I getting, I, I don't understand this. I really don't understand this. If for inside door, everything, I still have to remain my, I still have my mask on. I don't, you know, but you know what I'm saying. Indoor restaurant, movie theater, full capacity worship, indoors, high intensity class exercise. I mean, what else in here? Shopping indoor, hair salon, public transportation. If I'm still have to wear this mask, why am I? Again, why am I getting the vaccine? What is the vaccine is doing? Because there's obvious side effects of this vaccine. So I'm putting my body to this vaccine that only has been a year or so, right? It's not really fully proven. As far as I know, it's under some type of emergency. It wasn't even approved by, the, by other groups out there. So again, it's not even completely approved. But I'm going to put my body at risk, but I still got to wear a mask. What is the point of the mask? What is the point of the vaccination? I I just don't get it. You would think you take your vaccination and then whatever, you're good. But that's not the case. Your shot yet, any indoor gathering remains riskier. That's especially true for indoor gatherings where larger groups tend to gather. Everyone, again, everyone should wear a mask at the movies, indoor dining, at worship services or at the gym. Yes, I hate wearing a mask at the gym too. I just try to think of it as extra cardio. And the CDC still recommends social distancing and cleaning your hands often. Joining us now is David Schultz. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Dear Lord. He hates wearing a mask at the gym. You have to wear a mask at the gym. <laughs> Imagine going for, I don't know, a three mile run with a mask on i mean i gotta give it to him if you could do that oh wow good job buddy i don't i don't think i could i don't know how i wonder how marines are doing it nowadays when they go for the long runs i mean obviously i'm not in the marine corps no more but i wonder if they're playing any of this silly stuff if you're in the marines currently well don't put any comments i don't want to get you in trouble but here's the thing you know i'm, I'm again follow whatever you want to follow do your research and do whatever you have to do I'm simply a guy that live in, you know, I'm in my house in my spare room making these videos. Uh, but it's kind of like a concern as a concerned American. I'm a little bit concerned about this because if I'm taking this vaccination that is going to give me, uh, again, I haven't taken the vaccination, by the way. But if I would take this vaccination that is supposed to help me out, but I still got to wear the mask, it doesn't even make sense. I'm still at risk. So now I'm at risk of getting COVID-19, but also at risk of getting all these side effects. 
from the vaccine, what is the benefit if it's not going to do anything to me? It doesn't make sense to me. As I look at this stuff, I could see how the American people are refusing to take the shot. Many people are saying, no, we're not going to take it because, again, it's not being pushed as something that is safe. It's not even pushed as something that, I mean, it's pushed about something to be safe, but the results, according to the CDC, is not good. I mean, if you tell me I take the shot and I'm good, continue to live with your life, it's good. But I'm going to tell you something. This recommendations right here is kind of silly in a way because Americans are not going to follow that. Americans are too busy working, going to work, raising children to to remember that. Oh, 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 oh I'm, I'm in a movie theater. I got to wear. Oh, I got I can't take it outside. Oh, I got, I got bills to pay. Basic Americans won't remember this stuff. It, it really it is what it is. Americans have work to do. Uh, uh, bills to pay. Children to raise. They don't remember all this silly stuff. But again, it's just, it just does not make sense to me. If the shot is so good and so great, why am I still wearing a mask? There is a miscommunication there some way. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.